Welcome back guys to the video. So before we get started, definitely check out two links in the description. Actually, three links. My second channel, a free Discord server, more than 8,000 people, and also we both sign up link if you make a brokerage account and also deposit $100, you get two free stocks. Okay, that's it. So let's talk about Tesla stock and you're here probably wondering, should I be buying Tesla stock at $2,000? This is a super expensive price tag and $2,000 a share is very pricey. Now keep in mind that there is a stock split going on. You could clearly see it's a five for one stock split, essentially saying that one share of Tesla will be split into five different shares. The market cap, everything stays the same, except every single share will be a lot cheaper. It's kind of like taking a one giant piece of pie and cut it into five different pieces. If you combine the five pieces together, it still makes one pie. It's just smaller and it's way cheaper to do. So with $2,000, each share should be around $400-ish. But of course, this stock split won't be taking effect until the end of August, so we will be talking about it by the $2,000 price tag right now. So, so far, Tesla. I mean, this stock is absolutely crazy. I mean, Wall Street's casino stock is getting an absolute giant boost. Like, I've never even seen a line that goes up like this. If you look at this, this isn't a line that Warren Buffett talks about. This is a line that Wall Street Bets talks about. You can clearly see in 2019, it was $200. In fact, I looked at Tesla stock a few years ago. It wasn't really a big deal. No one really cared about it. But guess what? It went all the way to almost $1,000. It dropped plus the pandemic. And also Saudis also sold a ton of their shares. It dropped to like $300, $400. And now it's back going stronger than ever, finally hitting above $2,000. And this is $2,000 a share. This is insanely expensive. This is probably the rent of a one bedroom apartment in New York City. Like you could skip rent and buy yourself a share of Tesla. It's absolutely beautiful. It's $2,000. If you have a share of Tesla on your phone, you honestly deserve some bragging rights because this is a very expensive stock to buy. If you check out Tesla so far, I mean, this stock split is really the main reason why it's driving the price up. Now you may be wondering after the split, will the stocks drop? In my opinion, I feel like after the split, individual shares will be a lot cheaper. So I feel like a lot of retail consumers will be buying in. And keep in mind, the reason why Tesla stock is doing so well lately is because Elon Musk owns a ton of Tesla shares. Hedge funds, big money, own a ton of Tesla shares. And guess what? None of them are selling the Tesla shares. When there is a lot of demand for a specific item and there's not a lot of people wanting to you know, sell it, obviously price goes up. A lot of sellers, when they actually ask the price tag, it's extremely high. And the bid prices, they have to keep up because a lot of sellers, they don't wanna sell their shares. And a lot of sellers, when they do sell their shares, they wanna sell at a high price. This is why even during the major EV you know, mini crash of mid-July, Tesla stock in fact stabilized. And then Elon Musk pulled like a pro gamer move and said like a five for one stock split, the stock went from like $1,300 and now it's $2,000. It's absolutely mind boggling. There wasn't anything new added into Tesla stock that made the stock go up. In fact, it was simply just because of the big stock split that really drove the pricing of Tesla stock all the way to the moon. And so far, if you check this out, you do have the $20 billion short bet. This is absolutely insane. And this is all the way back in mid-July. So what is a short? So if you're shorting Tesla stock, you're essentially going to be a bear. You want the stock to go down. So when you short Tesla stock, you, you're borrowing shares from someone else that owns it. You're selling it immediately and you're obligated to buy it back at a certain period. And usually if you sell Tesla stock at $2,000, you want to buy it back at $1,800, $1,700. So you make that net profit. It's kind of like buying a stock and hoping it goes up. If you short a stock, it's kind of like borrowing a stock and then buying it back later. But you know, I said buying it back later. So when you have $20 billion in short bets, that means these guys have to actually buy back the shares to close their position. And when you buy back stocks, the stock goes up even more. When Tesla stock goes up even higher, retail traders pop in, hedge funds started popping in, news started coming out about why Tesla's so good. You got a crazy stock split going on. Short positions started getting really scared. A lot of people are buying more and more Tesla. People are closing their short positions by buying back the stock and driving the price up. It's like this continuous cycle. When you got a group of people that shorted the stock that are buying it back to close it because the stock is literally going to the moon, a bunch of people will be closing their short bets because if they don't, well, 
you're kind of screwed. And honestly, though, you don't want to bet against Elon because he will absolutely eat you alive. And keep in mind that Tesla, their vehicles are honestly phenomenal. If you guys think Tesla is just an automobile manufacturer, you got to be, you know, thinking the other direction. It's more than just a car manufacturer. It's more of a software company. It's a elect, you know, electric company, battery company, energy company, you name it. They got all sorts of different products. The software aspect is mostly like the autopilot and stuff like that. And guess what? Tesla is also going into the driver insurance company in the future. He Elon Musk even said, how cool it'd be if you get a Tesla, you could also get Tesla insurance along with it, so you get much better coverage and better deals. And Elon even said it's much cheaper. There's also a ride hailing app as well, going against big giants like Lyft and Uber. Tesla pretty much wants to do the robo taxis, the Tesla ride sharing app. It's really crazy to see what's going on. And right now, even with so many big name brand companies, you got Mitsubishi, Hyundai, you got BMW, you got Chinese companies, you got Nissan, you got Porsche coming out with the Porsche Taycan, but none of them seem to be beating the Tesla. Tesla Model 3 was by far the best selling electric B vehicle in 2019. Absolutely crazy. If you combine all the other numbers below the Model 3 combined together, it will just you know be about the same as the Tesla Model 3. Now keep in mind that even though other major companies are coming out with their you know, own EV vehicles, it's kind of like Android and Apple. I mean, I could say Tesla is like Apple and other car companies are like Android. Tesla has their own really unique ecosystem, their own unique charging station, and they do not share any of this stuff with other car companies. Tesla, whatever they have, they keep it to themselves. Incredible autopilot, amazing synergy between the car and your phone. And it's just simply a really, really good company. And they have a variety of different vehicles. They have like a Model S, which is like this beautiful luxury sedan. They got a Model 3, which is like this cheaper model. They got the Model X, which is an SUV. The Model Y, which is a crossover. They got the Roadster, which is this, you know, this truck. They got the you know, Roadster is actually a sports car, my bad. And they got a cyber truck, which is a truck. So you got the Model X, you know, it's really good, the SUV, all this kind of stuff. They have one model for anyone you want. If you have a family, you want a bigger car, the Model X is for you. If you want something super sporty but not too expensive, the Model S is for you. You get the idea. Also, there is major anticipation for a battery day. Now, a lot of people have been saying that Elon Musk may be announcing a brand new battery for Tesla, which is going to be absolutely incredible. Tesla having a market cap of almost $400 billion, they could honestly do anything they want. They're bigger than Toyota. They're bigger than Ford. Ford is worth like $28 billion-ish. Tesla is worth $373 billion. So it's worth like 12 to 15 Ford companies. And Tesla Gigafactories are popping up all around the world. There's Tesla Berlin, there's Tesla Austin, Tesla Shanghai. They're cranking out cars by the boatload. I mean, people are gobbling these up like M&Ms in the candy shop. And so far, should you buy Tesla stock? Honestly, I feel like it's a major buy. But of course, if you wanna buy now, be a little bit careful because it could be like a mini dump very similar to around mid-July. When you see the stock literally go vertically up, that's when you want to sell your shares or try to get out or maybe hold off on buying. Generally speaking, when there's huge growth and huge surging for a stock, they tend to go down a little bit and then start going up. Keep in mind that Tesla is a $373 billion company, but I feel like this could be worth a lot more, especially how they want to implement driver's insurance which is almost like money related, a little bit like banking, but it's also more like insurance and stuff like that. So it's like an insurance company. They're also doing like energy, like solar panels, electricity. They're obviously doing cars, which is a Tesla. And also a lot of big money hedge funds, they're not selling because Tesla's pretty flexible. If they see something that's money making, they do it. And so far the shorts, they're covering their positions and they're being hurt a lot. I mean, it's really insane. Like I've never seen a company that absolutely just keeps surging up and up nonstop. $2,000, honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised if Tesla is worth $3,000. Keep in mind that Kathy Wood, the woman that bought Tesla at $200 and also the leader of ARK Invest, she actually bought Tesla around this area, around when Tesla was $200. People honestly laughed at it and she even said like Tesla should be around several thousand dollars with her bull case being $10,000. I could honestly see that happening. I wouldn't even be surprised if Tesla is worth like half a trillion dollars, $750 billion, maybe even a trillion bucks, who knows? I mean, the stock is honestly doing absolutely fantastic with so many different models of cars and they're more of a software company. They're doing ride sharing 
it's really flexible. I mean, this is very different from your typical everyday car manufacturer. They're doing software components by the boatload. That's about it. Thanks for watching and comment below.